Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, the next episode. I don't know what we're on now. Uh, I'm losing count of the Celtic football manager, the self-isolation save, as you know. Uh, the feedback has been absolutely superb on the last few episodes, so that is why I'm rolling with it for the fourth day in a row. Uh, I was going to make a video regarding the Sunset and Vine Celtic season ticket virtual football thing. You know what I'm talking about. But I don't know if I've got 10 minutes worth of talk on it. I just know it's very nice. So I, I'm going to just stick to a football manager video today. Um, and, I mean, it's quite a big episode. I asked him one of the YouTube story things yesterday, what games you wanted to see. We'll get into that in a minute. But as you can see, the transfer deadline for Scottish clubs is in one week. We've got one more week to make any signings. The biggest news while you were all away, uh, of course... We tried to sell Mikey Johnson, if you remember the last episode, we accepted an offer from Sheffield United for him to go there for, I think, £15 million. He turned them down, he turned the contract down for whatever reason, the Premier League money just wasn't good enough for him, so he's still here. But, uh, if I go to transfer history, um, yep, Olivier Cham is, is gone. Arsenal triggered his release clause of £20 million, and he is now a Premier League superstar. Uh, one of the latest uh, additions to the, the French kind of uh, history of Arsenal. Uh, and hopefully he does well, but I couldn't do anything. I tried to offer him a new contract to keep him to stay here. Just didn't work out. He didn't want to stay. He is now away to Arsenal for £20 million. So in that sort of moment, I had to do my best to get a player of his calibre. So I recalled David Turnbull. Yes, David Turnbull is back at the club still. I mean, you look at his stats, he is actually a very good player. Right now, his current ability is only two-star. That's because he's probably not been playing a lot of football. Uh, if he was playing football, I imagine that will go up. But he is just there to kind of fill the void. Uh, it kind of brings down the sort of dilemma of how the centre mids that we had um, between McGregor, Brown, Van Der Beek and, and Christie, who plays. We've kind of lost, but we have lost a superstar, you know. That's, that is... Um, it does hurt us a little bit. So uh, we do now have twenty million in the, the transfer fund. Uh, if we do want to go and sign a new centre mid, but I've had a look around and I'm not going to lie, lads. The, the the players who would add quality are just far too dear. Um, I've seen the likes of you know there was, there was players listed for transfer who would be fantastic, but they're just too dear. Like Leandro Paredes, Ross Barkley, Ruben Loftus Cheek, Scott McTominay, Fred. But there's no point in spending money um, that big when I've got centre mids that are beyond capable so um I, I left it so of course we got copenhagen and the uh oh well where did we leave off actually we left off in the last episode here wasn't it carabag uh at a 4-0 win which was a very good performance since then we won 2-0 in the betfred cup playing the uh the reserves basically uh, in what seemed to be in cham's last game actually and they got a goal and it was a screamer as well it was like a, a first first time uh, 30 yard strike top corner fantastic Deb barely got the other one Johnny Hayes got an assist that was nice um, and uh, everywhere else you know it was just we were giving guys around. a lot of people have been asking why am I not playing Julian uh, yes in real life I love Julian he's class but in this game he is a donkey he's, he's useless he's crap in this a lot of people have been saying that to the people saying why not playing him I would much rather play Rob Holden who's good in this game uh, then we went and played the first leg of the Copenhagen game where we drew 2 all. it was a tough game which means it is crunch time at Celtic Park they're not going to make it easy we went up 1-0 instantly 2 minutes in Iberi Eze got a good goal uh, but then they went up 2-1 and for a lot of the game we were chasing them we were far better but we had to rely on Lamela not then won quite late on the game to get us back into it. And then finally we went to back to Celtic Park to play Kilmarnock and we got a 2-0 win. Edward has been quite off the pace since coming back, not going to lie. Uh, yes, he did score in that 4-0 game against Carabag. Uh, he was back and back with a bang, but um, yeah, he's, he's not done much. He's been quite useless, actually. 6.5, you can see Geary came on and got the goal, so maybe Geary starts against Copenhagen. I don't know. Today we've got a, a couple of decent games, though. Uh, we have got Copenhagen... And uh, then we're going to play Dunfermline, Big Dave's Mob, who are bottom of the league. So we're going to go all attack and try and get as many goals as possible. But today, we'll find out if we're in Champions League or Europa League. And we'll find out who we'll have in the group stage. Ooh, big moment. Also, if you want me to sign any specific centre mids, because I would like to loan Turnbull back out, let me know. But right now, I'm just going to hold off till January. But if there's anyone you think that's cheap and good, maybe young, whatever, let me know in the comments below. And I will consider signing them. Um, in the next episode before the window uh, or for the for the window shut the next episode will be past the window but before then off camera I will maybe go and sign a centre mid if I can find one that's uh, cheap enough that you know kind of fills that in cham gap the scouting guys are not coming back with that many great players I mean who's this Ali Ali Hamadi um, does an 18 year old forward 
Yeah, he has a bit of potential, but I mean, I, I don't know if I sit the scouts in this game. I quite hope was. I do my own scouting. Anyway, it's time. It's crunch time. We drew two all over in Copenhagen. So today, everything is on the line. Do we get to the Champions League group stages? The team that I'm going to go with has to be this. This is our best team. Um, Van de Beek's a little bit tired, so I might actually start Christie today um, over Van de Beek, which is a con. No, I'll start Van de Beek. I need to start Van de Beek. He's the best player there. Um, as you can see, this is the, the bench as well and the reserves. Tumbul is unregistered along with Johnny Hayes. But um, this is the team that if we're going to beat Copenhagen and go through the Champions League group stages, that's the team that has to do it. This is the best. The best 11 I can field. Geary, yes, is the one that's scoring. He's scored eight goals already this season. So arguably, I should be putting him at him in over Edward, but I'm going to give Edward the test. I'm going to see if he passes with hopefully flying colours uh, in this game against Copenhagen, but that's it. That's the team that's going to be going out. There's there's no doubt about it. Bang, submit it. We need the Champions League football again, boys. We need the money from it. The amount of money I've spent on transfers this season to go to Europa League would be quite the humiliation, but of course, I just want to win 10 in a row, and of course, I want to do better in the cup competitions, but I didn't last season, so... Here we go, here's the Copenhagen side. Well, Elmo Varela's in there. You know, it's very similar to what we actually play in real life. We've got Michael Santos in there. Uh, they've got Biel and um, they're not playing uh, Brian Oviedo, surprisingly. He was very good in that first leg. I don't know why they're not playing him. Carl Strom, uh, they've, got, they've got good players all over the place. They are a strong team and they will test us. So I'm going to try and keep the team calm. Same approach as what I did in the last episode. Keep them, keep them calm. Um, and I'm going to say... Uh, Go out there and straight away finished off in the last match, even though we drew two all, but it's worked. Let's just go for it. You know, our last match would have been the Coman game, wouldn't it? I don't know. Anyway, right, how do you intend that? Ah, I don't even care. Go away, press. Pfft, piss off. Even though I want to be a journalist. Here we go. Celtic versus Copenhagen at Celtic Park. Let's hope it is full of highlights. And actually, I forgot. In on Twitter, I asked, would you prefer 2D or 3D? And uh, 3D won. So I'm getting forced to come to the modern ages, come out my cave. And actually witness 3D football. I'll need to bring the speed down a bit though because watching 2D, uh, watching 3D and fast paced is is, is sore in the old eyes. And I, I'm a, I'm a specky bastard, so I don't want to struggle to see the game. But right now we are going through on away goals as it stands. But no highlights this this much into the game. It's pissing me off. I feel like we should be doing something at home uh, in the Champions League playoff round, but we're not. Uh, oh, here we go. I need to pause to get rid of these things because you can't actually see anything now. Um, there we go, that's it. Tell me if you prefer 3D, we'll try it out for this episode, it's a bit slow isn't it? It's a, it's a bit slow. This is this is why I don't like playing in 3D. I, I like playing in 2D, I'm comfortable with with uh, with, with um, the, the 2D football. But here we go, we're going forward, Abiri Eze has it on that left hand side, he's, got it. he's been playing really well off camera. Oh look at that, he stays on his feet, he's still going, he's still going! Oh, big save from the keeper. Abiri Eze, what a run from him there, you've seen him getting tackled. And he stays on his feet tremendously. We win a corner from it. Lamela's going to swing it in. It is cleared though by Nelson. But we do clean it up in the middle of the park. But highlight comes to an end. I still feel like it's like too fast. There's a, like, a nice in-between that I could go here. I, I don't know what's too slow and what's too fast. I, I just... I want to be able to enjoy it. Half time though. And it was a very boring first half. Apart from a baby Eze doing that. You know, it was, that was quite boring. Not going to lie, see it. Uh, I don't want to go for it too much. Because you know what happened last time. We played Copenhagen in real life. Uh, I'm going to be aggressive. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I'm, I'm just not. And it's, it's fired them up. Apart from Edouard, who's nervous. When has Edouard ever been nervous? Why now? Why do you choose to be nervous in the playoff round of the Champions League? I think I'm going to have to bring on Aminglini. I think I'm going to have to do it. I, I just think Edouard is not in the right place. Maybe we need to send him on holiday for a couple of weeks. Maybe the Olympic Games has just killed him. I'm playing him in his preferred role now and everything. And he's still just... Ew. He's not like to do anything. Guiri is, is or Giri, whatever you pronounce it, like, is, is loving it. Um, but it might finish nil nil here. Genuinely, nothing is happening, uh, which is quite concerning because all it takes is them to get one goal, and that's us. Europa League football this season, and we don't want to be in Europa League. So, um, yeah, with 19 minutes to go, I'm going to make a change. I'm going to bring on Giri. Edward has done nothing, and Christie's going to come on because Van der Beek's done nothing either. So we're well, leaving it a bit late, but. Changes have to be made, and can we finally do something? Jeremy Frimpong takes the throw into Ryan Christie. Christie gives it to Eric Lamela. Lamela, he's going to cross it. Geary tries to get up there, but it's cleared by the defenders. Uh, McGregor cleans it up. Gives it to Scott Brown, who does switch the play. It's Bolly Ball and Golly moving in now. On you go, wee man. Switch in. Cleared. What is that for a highlight? That was that was hopeless. That was, that was nothing. That was just futile. Futile. 
is how you pronounce it. Ball and goalie again, though, on the left-hand side. Gives it to a very easy. Come on, a bit trickery. McGregor, take a strike, son. Oh, a strike from Carl McGregor. That's Champions League football, surely. 15 minutes left to play. Carl McGregor runs over to what would be the... Well, the turn that. Yeah, the standing section. That would be the standing section because for some reason, the camera and FM is on the other side from where the camera should be. But yes, come on. It's a good strike. First time with the left foot as well. Bang. Johnson's just stunned there like, what? What does he do? I don't know. Right, fantastic. That should be us through. Um, yeah, Giri came on and changed the game, didn't he? I think he could be the starting striker for the next wee while until Eduardo gets the finger out there. Um, I don't know. But Celtic won. Uh, Ryan Christie's picked up a bruised ankle. What a boring game of football. But it doesn't matter because we are in the final whistle. Champions League group stages. Bang. There we go. I mean, we dominated them, but it was so boring. They got four yellows, the dirty buggers. Callum McGregor with a elite-ish goal uh, as the, the players go to shake hands. Finally seen all this in 3D. I wonder if you prefer it. Let me know in the comments if you want me to go back to 2D. We'll stick with 3D for this episode. I've forgot to give my team talk. Ah, shit. Okay. Right. That means Champions League money. Let's see. Let's see what they're saying. Celtic winning Champions League playoff. Ryan Christie's out for two days. Celtic receive £13 million. Oh, that's tasty. Right. Group stage time. Of course, last year we were handed a pretty tough uh, group stage in the Champions League. We were given Ludogorets, uh, the reigning champions Liverpool, and Atletico Madrid. Yeah, it was, it was pretty hard last year. But we finished third, and we could have finished second, if I remember rightly. Uh, if, we, if Does it let me look at last year's stages of last season's group stage? If it lets me look, yeah, we were only three points off. We actually performed really well. We got a big win against Atletico at Celtic Park. Remember that? That was madness. And then we took advantage of beating the Grets twice. We finished with no points. Um, but this year, hopefully we avoid the reigning champions of Barcelona. And hopefully we avoid, you know, just anybody of decent quality. Right then, after this I'll update you to see if Rangers and such got to the Europa League, how far the teams that finished third and fourth got. Um, but yeah, this is the teams who have made it this year. And uh, yep, yeah, it's pretty, pretty standard stuff, isn't it? It's... Uh, we're in the third pot, which is nice, which is always nice. And the fourth pot has got OAC Milano back. They're back in the Champions League. That's the first time. And AC and Inter are in it. Wow. Hammerby would be nice to get because we could Hammerby them. <laughs> oh, kill me. Anyway, right. Let's do it. Let's just go through it. I mean, the first teams don't really matter because it doesn't really do anything. This is where it gets tasty now. Who's getting paired with who? Liverpool in Group A. They will be joined by... We're going to get that group. We're just going to. We're going to get it. Liverpool and Real Madrid. That is a group and a half there. Dortmund get Porto. I wouldn't mind that. That's not too bad. Benfica, Man City. Yeah, wouldn't mind it either. PSG, Bayern. No. Stay clear, please. Uh, Arsenal and Atletico Madrid. Do you know what? I wouldn't actually mind that because we played so well against Arsenal in the Europa League quarterfinals last season. We beat Atletico at Celtic Park. So do you know what? Wouldn't mind it. Zebre or... Juventus, of course, uh, and Tottenham. Not once again, not the worst, but I'd rather avoid Zenit and Chelsea. I would take that, and then Barcelona and Shakhtar. I'm wondering about getting Shak uh, Barcelona if we got that, but I would take it if it means getting Shakhtar. But this is it. This is ours. This is pot three. We're gonna get Liverpool now, Madrid, aren't we? Right. Oh, <laughs> you couldn't write it. You couldn't actually write it. Of course we do. Of course we do. No last sixteen in the chat. The chair's squeaking like fuck. Oh. Oh. oh, what do you do, man? Why have I done to deserve that? Out of all those groups, like the only two that I was like, just don't give me, is A and D. And what's it do? Big fucking shafting for us. Oh, but I, they need to give us Hammerby now. We need, the, we need the exact same situation as last season. We need a team who are going to beat twice comfortably. And that is, sadly, sorry to say, the team with no coefficients. Oh, we're going to get into Milan, aren't we? Victoria Pleasant. They all are. That's not that bad. Europa League last 32 beckons for us once more. Finishing off the groups. Look at that. That's piss easy. Imagine we got that. Oh. Come on. That's not too. And that's a. That's a. Alright group now. Oh, look at how much we got, man. Look at that. Oh. They like, this is just broke my heart. What was the last group? Milan, Leipzig, Shakhtar, Bars. Look at that. Why? We got Liverpool last season. I do, we got Real Madrid. Yeah. Right, match day in the Premiership. Last game of the episode, of course. We're going to have to make a couple of changes. A few players are indeed tired. Abdel Ahmed's going to come in on the right-hand side of the fence. Ayer will be replaced by 
Christopher Julian. You're getting your wish, people. Uh, we'll switch those two roles about. Um, the rest of the team's decent enough. I, I think Van Der Beek's got enough. I mean, it's a tough game heading East End Park. I mean, Dunfermline have... Yeah, they've not had the greatest start to the season. They're in poor form. The bottom of the league. They've got no no points whatsoever. And they've conceded a total of... What's that? Eight goals? So, I mean, yeah. Stevie Crawford is having a poor time. But Big Dave will be there, I'm sure. Chanting out with the drums um, at East End Park. I mean, they've got a decent team. Um, they've still got Nisbet in there. Uh, apart from that, you know, it's still pretty... Is that Ruddy as in... Oh, I thought it was going to be John Ruddy or whatever his name is, the, the one that played for Norwich. Anyway, I'm submitting that team. That's what we're going to play here at East End Park. Three points would be delightful. Um, I, I would probably rather three points than, than a point because, you know, they're probably going to bring the game to us. They've got that wee uh, Smith on the left-hand side. He's not a bad player. Uh, once again, probably not Premiership quality in this, this game. A decent enough team. They could do a bit of damage. Big Dave, let me know your thoughts. Uh, on the right-hand side, yeah, we should be... We should. I mean, Donny van der Beek playing at East End Park isn't what you imagined when you were watching this save at the beginning, did you? No, I don't think so. Uh, passionate. Let's, let's see... Uh, yeah, let's just keep the run going. Uh, and, and let's just not think about the Champions League group because that is disgusting. Right, we're going to... Just send... Oh, do you want kick off? It's not like me saying John Kennedy. We'll keep the league table alive and, and kicking just so we can kind of have a live... No, do you know what? Actually, get rid of it. We've got it here. We need the latest scores up. I, I want to score goals here at East End Park. I don't know why I've not dropped Edward for this game, actually. Didn't even consider that. He's going to swing this ball in, though, and Julien's up there. And Julien has scored on a very rare start for Christopher Julien. He does what he does best, and he scores with his head. And it's assisted by the man who was just saying, don't know why I've started. Edward, the French connection... Maybe that's why Edward's not scored. Maybe he needs Julien on the park with him. Just maybe. Very maybe. I, I doubt it though. I think that it's just a, you know, a centre back. Oh, God. McGregor. Oh, no. McGregor wants to come off for tight calf. Oh, dear. Not what I wanted to see. Right. Cal McGregor's going to have to come off. Um, yeah. I don't actually know what to do here. I think what I'm going to do. See, this is why I needed a charm. This is why we made that. Tumble is not going to be the, the guy to carry us through a season if people are getting injured. I'm going to bring on Christy and I'm going to just move Van de Beek back. I think that's probably the wisest thing to do. Just do that for now. Um, McGregor, hopefully, only out for a couple of days. And now, ah, right, okay, they're piling up now. Right, and then, ah, why? Okay. I beat the essay, he's got a bruised knee. I mean, it's only a bruised knee, but he's, he's, his levels went, okay. El is going to come on. That's annoying as well. Wow. What have we done? What is Dunfermline playing at? Dave, sort your mob out. Edouard taking another free kick. This time he's got to Rob Holden. Ah, it's a good save for the keeper. I thought he was offside, to be quite honest. But Holden must have timed his run perfectly. And it's a very good save from whoever is in goals. Let's get the latest scores up. That's what we're needing. We're needing the latest scores. And let's put them... Let's just put them, like, over over here. I'm not even watching the football at this point. What's happening? Um, Scott Brown on the ball. Here we go. Brown swings one over. It goes way over to Rob Holden, who's somehow on the left wing. Rob Holden, he's, he's struggling, but he's given it to, to El Yunusi. Uh, Van der Beek back to Holden. Somebody want to strike Van der Beek. Uh, I've seen... Nah, I've seen better than that. The only other goal in the Premiership right now uh, is at Ibrooks. Rangers up 1-0 against whoever they were playing there. I think it may have been Aberdeen. Um, Morelos getting the goal. But... It, would, it is Aberdeen. I would just like to score as many goals here at East End Park as possible. But now Dunfermline have a set piece. They're taking their time with it. It's going to be Field who's stepping over it. It wouldn't be very nice if this went in. Field swings it. Foster's forced to make a save. I think it was going wide, Fraser. But do you know what? I'm not going to judge you. I would have to watch it back. It's nice that you get, like, two views. There's there's, there's on the big screen. I don't think they actually have that at East End Park. Nisbet headers it. Oh, God almighty. And it's just over the bar. Nisbet is going to be the danger man for Dunfermline this season if they can actually get some points. I mean, this could be their fourth straight defeat. Uh, it's not going to be easy. They'll probably go right back down. Sorry, Dave. Christy on the right-hand side. Uh, Lewis Smith is getting stuck right in there, but we've still got the ball. Abdel Ahmed. On you go. Back to... I think it's Christy. On you go, Ryan. Edward. Why you not... Why the post? Why did Duardo jump? He just watched it. But, I mean, Christie's cross hit the post. Right, that's fine. We're just going to just keep going. Right, balling. But that's not our team, Bolly. That's the other team. Right, here we go. Rob Holden. We've got a little bit of possession. Let's just take our time. Two and a half time at East End Park. Would be nice. Lamela. He has it on the right-hand side. Gives it to Donny van der Beek. Just shoot. Okay. Or not. Pass it backwards. Brown. He swings it over. It's going to Bolly Ball and Golly. Gives it in. It's El Yunusi. Oh, what a tidy finish from Mohamed El Yunusi. 2 0. Very comfortable now here at East End Park. 35 minutes in. 2 0 up. I would say that the game 
probably put to bed with that goal, but there's still a long way to go. Didn't think one might. I mean, I doubt it, but they might. I'm not going to watch the highlight. It wasn't that good of a goal, but it was a good finish. It was tidy for a while, you know, saying, ball and golly, getting another assist to his assist tower this season. I mean, it's been, a, 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 once again, not the, it's not been a, an episode for exciting games, has it? Um, that's probably because it's in 3D now. Look what you've done, boys. Look, look what you've done. Then fair one nil, Celtic 2. Yep, I'm happy with that. Let's, uh, let's, let's just be assertive and say I'm very pleased. You know, I'm not going to pass that. We're winning at East End Park. We should be. There's no need for me to start new Warnock and folk. You know, it's... It's not that big a deal, is it? Ruddy with the goal kick. I don't like this angle. Change, change the camera angle. There we go. Lamela gets up and wins it. He's very good at heading the ball, Lamela. He's scored a few headers for us. Uh, ball over the top. It's headed away by Comney, but as far as El Yunusi. El Yunusi on that left-hand side. He's going to swing one in. It comes to Lamela. Just talking about headers. Oh, he missed it. Did you, did you see that? He missed the open goal. He had the post. What? His header was... A, a header, fair enough. A fine save from the header, but he missed the rebound. Eric, what are you doing? Oh, he, he had a whole... Oh. oh, my God. Eric's had some season so far. I just want to call him Eric. I don't even want to call him Lamela. I think it's a funny name, Eric. You know what I think? I think so. Anyway, ball and golly. Uh, highly ends. An absolute howler. Uh, bewildering that he's missed that. Uh, that's the word that comes to mind. Uh, we should be up 3-0. But no, Kevin Nisbet getting a yellow card. We have a set piece. Abel Ahmed st st standing over it. Gives it to Brown. Very short play. Christie, nice pass in here. Lamela, play one more pass. Okay, he's going to go himself. He's actually got a bit of space. Lamela curls it, but it's an easy save from Ruddy. It didn't look as though there was a lot of pace behind the shot. Rangers up 2-0, but we are still the only team in the league who have not dropped any points as long as things stay the same here at East End Park. As long as we win 2-0. Uh, Hearts up 1-0 against Livingston. But oh, that's what I'm going to do. Show what happened in Europe. We'll do it after this. Um, 20 minutes to go. Lamela standing over a free kick. Do an Akimura, son. Go on. Oh, it's in. What a free kick, Eric Lamela. I said do an Akimura. Number 25 has done it. It's 3-0. The game is far beyond doubt now. Uh, I'm going to go and very attacking now and just play some some nice stuff. Christy came on late in the game. Lamela can come off. He can have a wee rest. Uh, he's played quite uh, quite well today. Uh, he's played well all season. But that was a fantastic free kick. And it looks as though there's going to be a highlight straight from kickoff for Dunfermline perhaps. So maybe they're going to get themselves a goal get back in the game. A little bit of motivation for them. But do you know what? No. We're not going to let it. Lamela, look at that. He goes right through and takes the ball. Oh, you dirty bugger. He got the ball to be fair. 3-0. Um, what a free kick. What a hit from Eric Lamela. Uh, imagine the subs will be made now. Yep, Geary's coming on. Uh, let's let's hope that you know Edward is still not scoring. You know we've scored three goals in the game, and when you say Celtic scored three, you'd you'd assume Edward would be one of them, but no. Julian El Yunusi and Lamela will be the goal scorers. Look at that from Geary. Fantastic work. Is he going to go himself? He is. And it's went wide. He could have probably passed that into Edward there, but and you know go yourself. You worked hard to get the ball, I suppose. Who am I to complain? Who am I? I'm not a football expert. I'm just a, a fat cunt behind the camera. Um, here we go. Uh, I believe it's Ryan Dow on the right-hand side. He's trying to keep it in. Stevie Crawford watching him as he does so. There's me on the touchline. Hello, me. Uh, Thompson on the ball. I'm talking absolute nonsense at this point because the game's beyond done. Uh, here's Kevin Nisbet. He gives it over back to Dow. Dow moving forward. Ball and golly not applying much pressure. It's a ball in from McCann. And yeah, they've pulled one back with a clean sheet. Wow. What was defended about there? From... from, from Every point of view, what was it? Ball and golly, number one, didn't put any pressure on. Number two, who was watching McCann? He, he actually, he ran away like Madeline McCann, quite literally, because he, look at this, look, look Holden's meant to be on him, I think. Look, he's gone, he's off. He's gone for 13 years now. Well done, Rob. You've done a good job there. Lewis McCann makes it 3 1 Celtic. Uh, sorry, well, well, he doesn't make it 3 1 Celtic, but we have, we have a chance, and it's cleared. Yeah, I think it's at that point of the game now where we're just kind of hoping. Uh, and praying we keep the ball and do nothing with it. That's a good ball. Oh, oh, what a goal. I mean, Geary gives it over to Ryan Christie and he strikes it on the volley. A fantastic strike from Christie. I mean, he's gone off. He's not. Camden, we're full one up at East End Park. <laughs> this is the thing about 3D. You see some questionable stuff. Um, I'm not going to watch it again. Ryan Christie, though, he's had a good season so far. He's been kind of like an NBA, you get your sixth man. He's been like 12th man of the year because he comes off the bench and does quite a bro Brown's injured as well. I don't believe this. I actually do not believe that. He's, bru he's bruised his knee. Are the Dunfermline players just kicking lumps out of their knees? God's sake. Celtic 4, Dunfermline 1. It would have been nice to keep a clean sheet, but as I said, um, we, we defend him was all over the place for it. Well done, lads. Happy with that. That does it for this episode. In terms of injuries, we've got uh, Izzy out for three days, McGregor out for two days, Brown out for two days. It's, it's not that bad, but 
Um, yeah, because I think now we've actually got a two-week break. So uh, it's actually happened at quite a decent time. Just go and enjoy your brilliant knee on holiday, lads. Um, that does it, though, for this episode. In the next episode... Oh, God. I didn't know... I didn't... Oh. Oh, yeah. Look at the schedule. Liverpool, Rangers, Aberdeen, Hearts, Real Madrid. That is that is just torture. Why would you do that to me? That is just horrible. That is really horrible. Oh, but Liverpool and Rangers next. Um, yeah, I know that means we'll only be playing one game off. We'll try and speed it up as things go along. But people uh, seem to be happy with how it's going in the comments. So, so yeah, Rangers, did they get to Europa League? That is the question. They did. They got to Europa League Group E, uh, which means they are in with Krasnodar. Uh, Frankfurt and Partizan quite a quite a difficult group to be honest not not the easiest I don't imagine any other Scottish teams managed to make it I'll have a quick look to see how they done and if they were knocked out in the first round by the likes of Connors K um, let's see stages and then go to last season so it would have meant Motherwell would have got there uh, and they were knocked out in the first round by FC Inter on away goals that is embarrassing who, who are FC Inter when they're at home the finish Premier League, um, yep, yeah, that's that's just horrible. They, they, yeah, Mama will let us down. Hearts, I don't know if Hearts actually Aberdeen managed to nick it off of Hearts. Wow, because they won the cup, so Hearts were hard done by. Aberdeen got so close. That is saddening. Wow, I mean they never really got pumped for one in aggregate in that round, but they got very far. Um, they just missed out. I think that was the last round, the fourth round qualifiers. And they got Braga, which is a tough tie. And on the way, they managed to beat Zurich, uh, Hapoel, Tel Aviv. So that is, that is, that is harsh on Aberdeen, I'd say. And then Hearts, I think, as I said, got it robbed of them. Uh, yep, they, did, they didn't manage. So that's it. Uh, like, subscribe. You know, share out the content. Hit like. It's been doing so well on the likes. Keep doing it. See you next time.